Finding the is or what part of a number using the percent is what our lesson is today. So if we look at our number one, it says what is 10% of 140? So to find that is, is what we're looking at. So we want to use what we call our is over of percent over 100 strategy to help us solve this. So by doing this, we have we don't know the is. That's what we're looking for. What is? That's what we're looking for. So the is is going to be what we call a variable. I'm going to use that as an x. The of, the of is my total of 140. So I know 140 is going to be my denominator. Percent. Well, that would be 10% right here. So 10 is my percent, and this is always out of 100. So to find our x, or that is, I want to use what we call cross multiply and divide. So what we'll do is, see, notice that 100 and x, that doesn't have a second number, so I cannot multiply that. But I can multiply 140 times 10. And when I do that, I get 140 times 10, which is 1,400. And then once I multiply, now I want to divide. I want to divide by the only number I have left, which is 100. So I take 1,400 divided by 100, and that gets me 14. 14 is the is, it's that part. So 14 is 10% of 140. That's how we're going to use this today. So we'll look at question number two. Same thing, today is all about finding the part of a number. So number two says, what is 200%? of 187. So the same thing. What is? I don't know what my is is at, so I'm going to keep that as my variable. Of 187. My of is my total, so that's my denominator. Percent. Well, that's 200% right here, so that's 200 over 100. 100 always stays the same. It's the same the whole time. So, again, we cross multiply. I multiply, again, 187 times 200. If you were to go to my Clever page, you're going to notice that there are all kinds of calculators here. So you may use this to help you. So 187 times 200 is 37,400. 37,400. And again, we're going to divide that by the only number I have left, which is 100. When I go back to my calculator, if I divide that by 100, I get 374. So it's all the same thing. We're continually doing that same thing using all of this here. Just depending on what we're looking for. Today's lesson, we're going to find the is. On Wednesday's lesson, you're going to find the of. So it'll say, 14 is 25% of what number? And that's when you're going to look for that of. So these are the two that we're going to do. Let's try one more together. Look at number three. 
what is 25% of 124? So again, what is, that's my question, that's my variable, of 124, that's my total, 25%, so that's 25 out of 100. So again, I cross multiply, I take 124 times 25. So I go back to my calculator, 124 times 25 is 3100. And then I divide that by the only number I have left, which is 100. And when I divide that by 100, I get 31. And 31 is, that's that is, right? That's 31 is 25% of 124.